<laughs> Just a little, like. <laughs> have you seen in there, have you? So today's project's this generator. A um, friend of mine dropped this in. It's a Ford D series. It's a 6.2 litre diesel, naturally aspirated engine coupled to a 415 volt uh, 50 kV alternator. It has a lovely milkshake going on in the oil. So it's been uh, overheating and stuff on them for a while. You know, helps when you put water in the radiator, but yeah, um, these are getting really hard to get parts for. So, what we actually did was got ourselves another engine, had this one running on the stand. We know it runs, so what we're gonna do is actually swap the whole engine and um, might have some variation here to do in the injection pump or potentially have to change the whole injection pump um, just to get the RPM right. I'm not sure I think that's a variable speed pump and the other one's fixed but um, we'll get a look at that. A couple of wee things I've seen straight away was sump's different that shouldn't be an issue for what we're doing. Exhaust manifold's different but the exhaust and other things are cobbled together yeah, it's not right anyway so We'll uh, fix that when we're at it, and then obviously probably flywheel housing, flywheel's probably going to have to be changed. Yeah, so when we'll get to it, first job on the list is going to be splitting this, probably take the radiator off, um, undo the engine mounts, and undo the bell housing bolts and get it off. also noticed this thing whenever I was over there. Was sitting hard standing on the floor, no rubber isolators, so find some. So we'll mount it. We'll actually, when we get this all took apart, we'll flip the skid over and drill some holes and actually mount this thing in some rubber isolators so it won't vibrate the crap out of the workshop when it's running. So we'll get to it, we'll start splitting this apart.
ready to pull this injection pump. Oh why? We're way past that stage. She might have just had a little issue with timing. Timing? Or head gasket, I mean. <laughs> just a little, like. <laughs> have you seen in there, have Right, so the GoPro battery died yesterday, so and um, we were cracking away on this thing, so we'll get you all caught up here. So we have the engine fitted, bolted up to the frame and the alternator. Starter motor's back on. We switched the Mini Mac fuel pump from the old engine because we couldn't really we didn't know what speed this thing was running at, we had no way to tell, so 
We just thought it would be easier to swap the injection pump over and then we know it will run at the same speed that it was running at. So we were fit getting the timing sorted but thankfully there's timing marking behind that plug there so that was handy. Stop solenoid switched over, new oil filter, new oil, swapped the fuel filters over. Haven't got new ones of them yet but they don't look too bad in the bowls. There's no crud in them so. Um, we cleaned out and tested the steel gauze and the lift pump and that's all fine. Checked the water pump, checked the alternator, put all the wiring on so everything's there thereabouts ready to start this thing up but before we do that we've still got intake and exhaust manifolds to go on and <laughs> this old engine was putting out that much oil that was a new radiator not long ago and it is just kicked in a while well so they tell me but yep so a bit more work to do in this thing we'll get cracking on it So I just went to lift this and frig is it heavy but someone um fabric McCoddled a like a one and a half inch muffler onto this three inch pipe for this six liter engine so yeah I think we're gonna cut that off and I found a nice two and a half inch Land Rover muffler out the back in the uh, scrap pile which is definitely gonna be better so we'll weld it on it'll be grand Better than this mess anyway. Break up the old wall. It's so good, it's like it wants to be there. Couldn't find a two and a half inch 90 mild, even out of all of my selection. So, oh, she's getting fancy now. Real fancy with the stainless. So I noticed when we run this thing up that cylinder number six wasn't firing. So we were screwing around, screwed the injection line off and whatnot, and no diesel coming out of the pump. So 
took the delivery valve out of it and I'm just looking down into the plunger here and gonna try and crank this thing over and see if that plunger's moving or if it's jammed or scored itself into the bore with debris or what's going on but there's nothing coming out of it when it was running so something's wrong delivery valve itself apart from the crap I've just got on it looks in good shape the seat and all is in good shape Let me keep that wee spacer on it good so the seat and all is in good shape so no problems there so let's see if we can get this thing moving again if that's what it is or maybe there's something stuck in the delivery valve that's come out but give it a go bit of a skip forward here but that's it exhaust on 90 degree bend to point the same direction the old one was on everything's back together filled with water didn't put any coolant in it yet just just to be checked that she's a good one and then we'll go from there No job off the list, bit of a quick emergency one that one, but um, hopefully get back onto the 404 and uh, the tank to weld up for someone else, stainless, bit of stainless welding, so get a video on that maybe, see if it's see if it's interesting or not, probably not, just welding, um, but yeah, pretty happy with how this worked out, managed to knock it out in a couple of days, and hopefully this will keep them going anyway bit of a lottery buying an engine out of a junkyard but seems to run fine I'll get a video of it firing up here and run and yeah we'll get it away